It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Chicago Bears. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the legendary venues in the sport. Historic Soldier Field in Chicago. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we have a couple of teams who love to play football. You know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other, they study each other, they work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. But come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. Here is the rookie out of Stanford, Joshua Carty, to get us started. Off we go from Soldier Field. To get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. Won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. The term generational talent, Mike, it gets thrown around. I feel a little bit too loosely these days, but you could argue if there's one guy worthy of that description, it's Williams. I mean, only time's going to tell how accurate it is, but when you watch him play, it becomes abundantly clear. This guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. The arm talent's obvious, but it's the ability to make those off-script plays right in the midst of chaos that make him such an interesting prospect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. They'll go again with Swift. Fighting on tackles, pushing his way forward. Good gain of about four. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And it's the tight end comeback. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Here's first and ten. Now Swift. Ooh. And drives and leaves it up from the crowd. Sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. A good spot here. Second and a yard. play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. In front of the first round of Washington, Warren Odunze. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. So the best thing this wide receiver is able to do here, Mike, on this crossing route is once he gets the ball in his hands, he's able to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. So often you see these guys get strung out sideline to sideline, and they're not able to pick up big yards after the catch. So Really nice job here, and it leads to a big game. That's a short throw caught by Komet. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Williams to throw on second down. Chicago. And they get 
the first points of the game. What a way to start it, Greg. You get the ball. It's what you want to do. Settle into this game on top 6-0. Mike, how often do we have coaches tell us the importance of playing with the lead? Well, they come take the ball right away on the first drive, all the way down there and strike first. And now the rest of the way, let's see how it plays out. Now Cairo Santos to add the point after. It's up and through. And the Bears will take a 7-0 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Johnson now to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Rams led out by a Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. Second among all active passers in the NFL, only Aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards. Hard to believe, Greg, it's already season 16 for the man out of the University of Georgia. Stafford was one of those guys, Mike, that I think through the first half of his career was probably the most underappreciated quarterback in the entire league. The talent was always undeniable. But what he was constantly discredited for was just the fact that he was on some really bad teams that were left to play really irrelevant football down the stretch immediately changed that narrative the second he joined the championship roster. Now, he's just trying to see if he can add some more hardware to that resume and solidify that legacy even further. His offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd, and even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. They're going to continue to be aggressive, especially through the air, and they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes going to go a long way to settle on themselves into this game. And this is going to be a Rams first down. The attack is made at about the 38-yard line. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. So, first and ten here now at the 38. Tuck in motion. On first down, right back to Williams. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Patience is a great quality of a running back. You have to wait for holes and gaps to develop. But in this case, Mike, he just kept waiting and waiting, and nothing ended up happening. No game. A play fake. Now Stafford to throw. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now, that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a back rat. On third down, Stafford. It's complete. He's got cut. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air. And that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Here's first and ten. They're going to motion the tight end over here. Our throw here, right side, falls incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football 
to operate in. And now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Here's a third down and four. Again, it's Stafford. That's caught. Left side. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds with a gain of seven. And that'll be enough for a first down. He'll go with Williams. The way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Stafford now on second down. It is brought in in the end zone. To Marcus Robinson. Touchdown, Rams. Joshua Cardi comes out now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Rams come right back to tie it at seven. possession each team a score seven seven as they kick it off jones now on the return he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the bears offense ready to possess the football for the second time we're trying to break out of this deadlock we are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten go play action here with Will. That's over the middle and intercepted. That's the safety, Cameron Curl. This is something we see so often out of these young quarterbacks, Mike, is their inability to manipulate the defense. They kind of telegraph where they're going to go with their ball, with their eyes. And I'd love to see him the next time when he gets to the top of his drop, look off the safety, hold some of the underneath defenders from where you ultimately know you want to go with the ball. A lot of that just comes with experience, and sometimes you got to gain that experience the hard way. So they come to the line for first down and ten. On the ground, this is Williams some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. He'll come up now for second down and four. The 
a shotgun snap to Stafford. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. Third and two. We'll try to run for it to Williams. And he'll have it. He'll have it at the 16-yard line. First down picked up as the running game comes through. Come up here on second down and five. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. He gets it into the hands of Atwell. From six yards out, it's first and goal. They'll run. It's Williams. And nothing develops there. It'll stay right at the five-yard line. No gain on that one. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hacks to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. Stafford now on second down. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. Good job so far by the defense protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. Now Stafford on third and goal. In the back of the end zone. He's got it. To Marcus Robinson. Touchdown, L.A. His second catch of the game. And both have gone for touchdown. And it really just comes down to the protection. You're sitting there third and goal. You have to give your quarterback the opportunity, Mike, to work through all of his progressions, and you need time to do it. Then it just comes down to making the right read. Touchdown. Cardi now to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the Rams will move out to a 14-7 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Jones now on the return and he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line the Bears offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field they trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down Play fake. Now Williams. Hey. 
He'll come up now for second down and four. They'll go play action here with Williams. Completing that one to Carter. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. These wide outside the number throws. This is where a quarterback really gets to show off his arm strength and arm talent. This puts a ton of pressure on the defense because now they say, all right, we have to defend every single blade of grass. We go three tight ends here on first and ten. On the ground, it's Swift. He did not want to go down. Good running. Manages to gain five. So after one, the Rams out to the early lead. We're back to Soldier Field after this. They'll come up here on second down and five. Another run here. Another run by Swift. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. And for the second straight offseason, it's kind of hard to believe Mike Swift kind of finds himself in a new place every year. This time it's with Chicago. Just a year ago, over 1,000 yards rushing, and he's going to be looking to build off that last year's success. Pass right side to the tight end, Komet. A good spot here, second and a yard. They'll run, it's Swift. And he'll take this one forward for about three, and that's a first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. From six yards out, it's first and goal. Operating from the shotgun, it's William. And that is hot in the end zone. He's in. Rome Ogunze. Touchdown, Chicago. is Santos for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Bears will tie things up. We are all even at 14. back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff the return starts from the five and that's well done by the kicking team he's only able to make it past the 15 yard line Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense getting set to go again this one everything we could have hoped for to this point all even at 14 we'll start this drive with first down Cup 
in motion. First down, Stafford. That's to Robinson. He's got it. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Pup in motion. Stafford now on second down. And unable to connect there. It's incomplete. Here comes third and six. Working out of the gun, Stafford. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase of what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. It's exactly what they did here, and there was nowhere for the ball to go, and he's forced to just throw it away. On the return, it's Carter. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. Has an opening past the 40. DeAndre Swift. And he is gone. 75 yards. Touchdown, Chicago. Good looking rushing touchdown there. Offensive line does its job. That back taking off to the end zone for the touchdown. Mike, you're exactly right. He might get credit in the box score for that long rushing touchdown, but it was the big guys up front who were able to make that play possible. Santos for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Bears have broken the deadline as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This is going to be taken in at the three. He'll get this up to the 28 yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Here come the Rams as their offense trots back onto the field. They're searching here for the tying score down 21 14. They'll begin first and 10. They send the tight end in motion. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Cooper Cup was the intended receiver. It's second down. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time. Read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Stafford. 
Crawford now. Here's a screen set up to Williams. Will Thor. And it'll be stopped short of a first down. And that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. This brought in out past the 20. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half, putting up some big numbers already. And remember, we haven't even reached halftime yet. So they come to the line for first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Williams. While everybody wants to attack the middle of the field, you just have to make sure you don't do it recklessly. You want to make sure you protect both the ball and your receiver. And in this case, he does both. Puts it on the money, picks up a big game. We go three tight ends here on first and ten. They will run it over center with Swift. And he'll work his way down to about the 41. Here's second and nine. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just roll it out. The ball is shot. He's got the net. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California. And here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him, and now it's, hey, let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. A play fake. Now Williams. After a long time, Charger, it's Keenan Allen. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down comes down with the big first down catch and while he might be wearing a different uniform this year it's clear for this Bears offense they need him to be the same reliable weapon that he's always been be that safety blanket for the young rookie Caleb Williams and so far he's done just that they'll run with Swift and he gets to the outside and takes it in DeAndre Swift Touchdown, Bears! His second touchdown of this first half. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. And we're just getting started. Santos for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bears have doubled their advantage. It is now a 28 to 14 game. The 
kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Johnson now to return. He's across the 20, taking down just shy of the 25. The Rams offense back onto the field for their next possession. They try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. going in motion here. Look in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. Here's Stafford now on second down. Here's a screen set up to Williams. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Here's first and ten. On the handoff, it is Williams running to the right. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Shotgun snap to Stafford. That is caught downfield by Cup. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Mike, you know what we used to call those plays? No, 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 yes. Because that's exactly what was going through the mind of the coach on the sideline when the quarterback decided to throw that ball into really tight coverage. First down, Stafford. Get this complete, it's up again. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Now a first down throw for Stafford. This one, caught by Parkinson. Here's second and three to go. Cup in motion. On second down, a run with Williams. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage and that is it just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle Mike his ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain you don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field that's pretty impressive we'll try to run for it with Williams and he will score On comes Joshua Cardi for the extra point. It's up and good. 
good. And the Rams are back to within seven. It's 28-21. away. Carter on the return. And a decent return there. We'll get this a good side of the 30. DeAndre Swift in the Bears offense. Set for their next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. That's a short throw caught by Komet. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. So, two minutes to play in a bat and fourth first half. We'll come back to Soldier Field. Following this. Williams to throw on second down. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up a third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. That one on target to Moore. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Throwing again. Williams. Completing that one to Carter. That's a gain of 16. His offense is humming. A first down. to the air once more. And he's in. Keenan Allen. Touchdown, Chicago. is Santos for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Bears add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. more as the kicks away this is going to be taken in at the three he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line here comes Cooper Cup and the rest of the LA offense set for this next Rams possession 
and seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play that is borne out by those eye-popping numbers. From 25, they'll go to work, first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Stafford and that is incomplete pretty clear approach here Mike you're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point in this case it falls incomplete but if they continue to get that matchup this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot Stafford now on third down complete he's got hot and he's gonna have the first down as he gets out of bounds and he stopped the clock as well this is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator who's one of your best players on the field and how do you get the ball in his hands throwing again is Stafford to get this complete it's cup again and this one's going to be a loss of yardage. He's marked out of bounds behind the line scrimmage. The quick passing game in the NFL, Mike, is so dependent on yards after the catch. you got to generate space with the scheme, and then it's up to the receiver to do the rest. In this case, nice job defensively, because this guy couldn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. On the play fake, here's Stafford. And he can play that one quickly before the receiver and knew what was going on. That's incomplete. I think that play probably results in a completion if that protection just holds up a little bit longer. It was that initial pressure in the face of the quarterback that forced him to get rid of that ball a little bit earlier than he wanted. Disrupts that timing, ruins the play. Third and long. Here's Stafford. In trouble, and down he goes. The Bears will use one of their timeouts here. Clock will stop with 33 seconds to go until halftime. Here's Ethan Evans now, as he is on to punch for the Rams. And no return on this one. Fair catch, signal four, and take. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. First and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. A good spot here, second and a yard. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Back to Adunze again. And they're going to work this down inside the 45.
on first and ten, it's Williams. Our throw here, right side, falls incomplete. Haven't even reached halftime yet, and we see this quarterback just continue to put the ball in harm's way and make bad decisions. He's lucky it didn't add another interception to his stat sheet, and as they approach halftime here, they got to regroup. And he's going to have to make the better decisions here in the second half. Throwing again, Williams. And he got over that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now, that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. On third down, it's Williams. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. I think as the offense comes to the sideline now, the quarterback and his wide receivers need to get together and say, hey guys, what are you seeing out there? How can we find some open targets? Because on that last down, there was nowhere to go with the ball. So we hit halftime along the lakefront here in Chicago and the Bears are on top. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the rookie from USC, Caleb Williams, who was looking the part. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half, and he may just be getting started. Coach. Thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line Kyron Williams and the Rams offense ready to get back to work they'll begin with first and ten It's Robinson. Stafford now on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Shotgun snap to Stafford. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard. It sets up third down. Good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. Out comes Caleb Williams and the rest of this Bears offense. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position 
instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. bootleg it's Williams this pass caught right side it's Allen and a good job rallying to the football holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down So, from the 36, it is first and 10. Williams to the air once more. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Smith to work forward to the 40-yard line. Christian Rose Boom there on the tackle. Third and six. Working out of the gun. Here's Williams. He's Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. To throw is Williams. They go right back to Allen. He's got it again. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. On first and ten, it's Williams. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. On the give, it's swift and good blocking up front, paving the way for a game of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Here's Williams now to throw. A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Looking to convert for the third time on this drive, they'll need another here. It's third and two. They'll try to run for it. It's swift. And he's going to have a 
there's first down. They're able to convert, albeit not by much, but they get it on third and a yard. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance, but I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough, and they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. Try to finish off this drive with six points. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with... Oh, he feels the pressure and he'll go down back at the six. Anytime you talk about defensive tackles in this Rams organization, of course, there's some big shoes to fill following the retirement of Aaron Donald, one of the best to ever do it. But with Fisk, they got a guy, Mike, that interior quickness, physical presence, his ability to get off the ball and create some havoc. Listen, no one is going to compare anybody in their first year to Aaron Donald, but the Rams have themselves a really good young defensive lineman that they have high hopes for. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. Third and goal. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. there Greg that is what tight ends do so well. hey you lived it what are you thinking when the quarterback's on the move out of the pocket scramble drill is the most difficult play to defend down here in the red zone Mike it just it stresses the coverage so much when you snap your head around of your designed route and you see your quarterback has gotten moved off his spot now it's just scramble rules stay in phase work friendly in the same direction as the quarterback and if you're open stay open kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Johnson now to return and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line here come the Rams as their offense trots back onto the field they find themselves down three touchdowns here needing to flip the script in a hurry and they'll start it here on first down take this to about the 28. Montez Sweat, they're on the tackle. Here's second and nine. It's another run here for Williams. And a pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. Shotgun snap to Stafford. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, 
and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. First and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. This one is caught by Robinson. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Now it's Williams. And he'll work forward for a yard, but that's all he needed. This is going to be a first down. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. On first down, right back to Williams. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. A good spot here. Second and a yard. They'll go again with Williams. And he's going to fight forward. Didn't get a whole lot, but it's going to be enough to move the chain. another run here for Williams. He'll work forward for a couple. Tremaine Edmonds there to make the play. Putting the tight end in motion. Should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. Seems like the quarterback was a little predetermined in his read. I think he decided even before seeing the coverage where that ball was going. Next time, read the coverage. Let the play unfold. Don't force something that's not there. A throw left side. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kyler Gordon. Still on the move. And he is going to bring this one back. A DB's dream. A pick six for touchdown. Nothing the defense loves more, Greg, than the opportunity to not only stop a team, but turn them back around the other way. A touchdown on the pick six. Yeah, the defense just loves getting their hands on the ball when they can, Mike, but it is extra special when they're able to capitalize and take it all the way back for six. These are the ones that rip your heart out on the offensive side. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears will extend this third quarter lead. So, three quarters now in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Johnson now to return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Rams offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. Things not looking good. But see if we get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down.
the shotgun, it's Stafford. This one complete to Atwell. From the gun, here's Stafford. Throw right side, halt in by Cup. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. Working out of the gun, Stafford. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the Pats. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. Third and long. Here's Stafford. Finding space at the 40. That's well done as they get the conversion on third and 13. It's no secret this day has been a rough outing all around. So at this stage of the game, really no choice but to remain aggressive and just try to find something positive on a day where there's been a lot of negative. To the air again, Stafford. Incomplete over the middle. We see this time and time again in the NFL. Mike, you want to play quarterback at this level? You better figure out a way to be able to bounce back following a bad throw, a bad series, a bad game. And in this case, he's got to bounce back from a pick on the last drive, and he's got to find himself some easy completions and settle himself back into this one. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Throwing again is Stafford. Open man, right side. He's got it. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. First down, L.A. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. He'll take a shot here. Back to the end zone. And that ball reach toward the sideline it'll be an incompletion so of course you prefer to connect on that throw but think about it like this Mike the more they continue to test this defense downfield the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath again it's Stafford this one taken in by Parkinson and they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Really nice answer to the previous drive from this quarterback. You want to play at this league and you want to play for a long time, you better have a short-term memory because mistakes are going to happen. Really nice job here bouncing back, putting together a promising drive, and he's open to come away with a touchdown of his own. They run over center with Williams. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. Well, this is the advantage to having a really effective passing game, Mike, as the defense now tries to adjust to stopping you through the air. It's a lot easier to mix it up and run the ball. There's a lot less defenders in there trying to stop it. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound.
They'll work now on second and four. Out of the gun, Stafford. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. You couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, but I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. They've converted two third downs already on this drive, and here's third and four. A shotgun snap to Stafford. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And that is not going to work. Incomplete, and they turn it over on them. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And we'll take you back to some of the highlights. In plenty of room to run, and he has taken advantage of it. Already over 100 yards in this one. He got it early, he got it often, and the defense hasn't gotten much of him. Here's first and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. Boom past the 20. Great run there. He gets this up close to the 30-yard line. Well, that's how you get a drive started. A big play here in the run game. And you have to imagine this is something we're going to continue to see. Success early in the drive, typically results in success later in the drive. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. A couple of first downs already on this drive, and they'll go first down from the 43. run here with Smith. He'll be brought down after a short pickup to the 45. They will run it over center with Swift. And he's going to have that first down across midfield and down to the 46 yard line second down at these distances mike you pretty much anticipate a pass and i think that's what the defense was lined up thinking in this case they leave a little too much room on the ground and the offense is able to pick up a first down now swift and a strong first down run a pickup of nah setting up second and short It's all about touches. It's not just about handoffs anymore. It's how many different ways can we get the ball in your hands. On first down, it's Swift. Not much happening there. Just a short game.
Here's second and nine. Now whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Another run here, another run by Swift. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, that's it. Good drive to this point. Now can you convert on third and three? They'll try to run for it. It's Swift, and he's going to have a Bears first down. It was third and three, and they picked up six. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. First and ten. They will run it over center with Swift. The Bears are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. And this offense just continues to chew up yards and get first down after first down. And defensively now, you find yourself a little bit on your heels. You're defending a goal-to-go situation. They need to step up here and get a stop. This has been some kind of march downfield now. Can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. They'll run with Swift. Trying to find a crease in there. It's a big pile of bodies. But he is going to come up short. Well, after being stopped for no gain on first down on the ground, Mike, it brings up the question. Second and goal from the two, what do you do? I like throwing it. I don't like waiting till third down to air the ball out. So if they want to take a shot at the end zone, I think it's got to be here on second and goal. They'll try to run with Swift. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one. Setting up third and goal. was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from along the lakefront at Soldier Field in Chicago.